Hello everyone, it's Ruby here today. So this video is gonna be slightly different. This isn't like an advice video or sort of any sort of introduction or anything like that. Um, I just had sort of amusing and I thought that I would share it with the fellow YouTube community just because I thought it was fairly interesting. And I had not seen any sort of evidence of other people also talking about this. And I don't know if that's just because it's so obvious or if it's because people just haven't thought about it yet. And that's the idea of the department Department of Mysteries. Um, because in the Order of the Phoenix, in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, it is explained to us that the people who work in there are unspeakables, that it's top secret, that what they study is, is to just not be talked about. They don't really know what to do. And then when Harry in the climax um, goes into the Department of Mysteries and tries to find um, Sirius Black, um, he discovers all of these rooms that they had been studying in, like a time room, a planet room with like no gravity, like a brain room, and a, like a, a room that they can't get into later, which is later like the love room, as well as like the death room of that veil that Sirius Black falls into. And I'd been thinking about it lately because I realized that those, that department and those rooms are all sort of related to philosophy and science. They're all studying sort of these ideas of, I guess, the universal idea of love or the universal idea of time and a whole bunch of other rooms we hadn't been introduced to yet. And it just struck me as kind of odd that nobody else was talking about this, that nobody else had sort of considered this sort of area of the Ministry of Magic to be considered that like philosophical um, astronomy, alchemy sort of area. Because I would think that that sort of area of the department would be the most interesting to me. Partially, I think, just because I'm interested in like psychology and the social sciences. So that would be like the job that I would do if I were to ever be part of the Harry Potter universe, because that's likely to happen, right? But I don't know. I just, I'm not sure if there's a point to this video and I'm not even sure if I'm going to put this up, but I just, I wanted to know what other people's feedback was or just even put this out there that like what information is there really other than what was in that book? Why has there not been any sort of um, explanation as to that area? It's been like 10 years. So JK Rowling put it into Pottermore so I can read it and pretend that I'm part of that um, department and be an unspeakable myself. So what do you guys think? What What is this? What why do you think that nobody talks about this? Why do you think that there's no explanation of it? Why do you think that it was even in the books? And am I just sort of reiterating what a lot of people have already discovered when they were like 10 years old when they read the book? Anyways, so comment below, like it, subscribe, do your thing, try to explain to me why this is happening so that I can be at peace of, um, about the Order of the Phoenix.